And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jinx Quinn to start off our meme tier Monday. Uh, we have a wild one here. Uh, let's take a look at what we got. So it's, it is a donation deck. That's what the two D's mean here. And all four of these are, so these were all viewer submitted decks they wanted to see here on this meme tier Monday. Um, so what we have going on is uh, we have our champions with Jinx and Quinn. Okay, so of course Quinn, you know, we're going to want to attack multiple times and everything with Quinn uh, for, for leveling up Quinn. And uh, we're going to have the Grand Plaza to go along with Quinn, plus we're going to have some extra scouts with like Grizzled Ranger, Green Fang Warden. That one's kind of self-explanatory. Now we also have Jinx, and Jinx is going to be probably the most important card in our deck. I mean, well, our two champions are. But we're going to really want to empty our hand to be leveling up this Jinx so we can make in those super mega death rockets. Um, so to, to help level up the hand, we're going to have some cards that are normally card disadvantage, but they help us empty the hand. A card like Mobilize is going to be pretty important here, where we can re get our allies, you know, reduce the cost of all of our allies. It gets, so Mobilize just gets out of our hand for three mana, and also makes it cheaper for us to unload all the allies in our deck. We also are using, like, Get Excited for Removal, because Get Excited is really versatile. It can go anywhere, uh, but the price for the versatility is you do have to discard a card, but we won't really mind discarding a card because that will get our hand empty for Jinx. So that so the Get Excited can pair also with um, your your rockets, your Super Mega Death Rockets, to do a lot of Nexus damage. And then we'll also play Rummage that can um, you know go find more Get Exciteds or you know help search for whatever we need. Which this isn't really you know we're not we're not creating cards that are like good to rummage away rummage is just going to be um card disadvantage but again it's a it's an easy way to empty our hand for jinx so we have that going on we're also playing stony suppressor here because we don't really have expensive spells for the most part we you know we're going to use like rangers resolve and rummage that are really cheap um get excited is is a good cause so so basically a lot of other people play spells like most of our opponents are going to be playing a bunch of spells um, and so we're just have we just have Stony Suppressor in here to annoy them, to slow them down, while hopefully we're sped up by Mobilize. Um, another cool little thing though that we have in this deck is a couple of Tribe Beam and Probulators. We have a lot of threes, um, as you as you can see for Tribe Beam and Probulator. But then also Grizzled Ranger and Jinx normally cost four, but if we play a Mobilize, they can cost three. So so that's another way to get those. Uh, <clears throat> get some more threes in here because right we can play like three mana mobilize and then three mana jinx and now tribe even probably got you know a couple of hits there so this this can just be a good value card um kill something get another follower help us pull ahead so that's so it's kind of a, a random deck you know it's kind of a weird deck with like a lot of weird cards but it, hopefully it will work um that's what meme tier monday is all about so let's get to it we're gonna just go play five games in normal because it's with meme tier day uh, we'll just play our decks in normal as we test them out. Okay, an opponent's playing one of the best decks right now, Twisted Fate Aphelios. I could see Stony Suppressor helping out here, and so I'm going to just kind of keep this hand, I think. Um, the Bright Seal Protector isn't anything... Like, I like these other three cards. The Bright Seal Protector is just kind of whatever. I could, it, could, it could go, it could stay doesn't really matter so I guess I guess we'll just send it away because um, a likely outcome is simply me uh, discarding that bright seal protector so they get excited all right so we're gonna have the mobilize that's where we're gonna start this off Ooh, got another mobilize we were peaceful once so we, we hopefully want to like we want to draw a unit this next turn Hmm. Because because if we drew a unit, we'd be able to uh, mobilize it as well. I'm gonna kill Aphelios. No more hiding. Perfect. Next turn, turn five, we can unload both champions. So 
at least we'll make these moon weapons cost three mana, so they're a tad bit more fair. Just a little bit more fair. Really? They'd rather block with that thing than just take one damage? It's one damage. That was not a good block. <laughs> No. Philia is still broken. We Demacians are no easy fit. I'm all afraid. Just a wee bit late. <clears throat> yeah, Philios is just a little, a little too broken for our meme tier deck. It's a little too broken for everything, but. Power. Jinx stands for Jinx. Durr. It's like I need to kill this box to post too, because if I. Uh... The, you know, the box plus challenger is going to be, diff you know, that's going to be kind of rough. Never lost a fair game. We played one. My steel is yours. The guilty were bad. I think my opponent's playing. Now it's a party. I wonder. I wonder if this was my version of Twisted Aphelios or not. I know I didn't really like the guiding touch, and so I took I took guiding touch out. You're covered. But these these the flights. We'll be leveling up the Twist of Fate pretty quickly. No, the, the flight, I mean, the flight's good in this deck, because, yeah, it just it levels up Twisted Fate. And it's just another elusive attacker. I mean, I, I had the flight in my version that we played a couple days ago. In the uh. <clears throat> I don't think any of our meme tier decks are going to beat Twisted Fate Aphelios, especially with the hand they had. Of, you know, like a couple two of Helios early. It's not gonna happen. So they have tons of choices. So they're trying to figure out what they want to do.
I'm a little surprised they just kept playing like these flights that have one health in front of the rocket. It's a little surprising. No, I can't. I can't really afford to save Stony or anything. Basically, Jinx is my most important card. Burble fish made parlay? My burble fish just always makes jettison. There's made parlay. Wow. I just had all three in hand. Yeah, their deck's a little better than ours. That's alright. At least it's not Twisted Fate Aphelios. Um. Come on, we're in normal. <laughs> what are all these people playing these tier 1 decks? We're in normal. Uh, let's see. So we're going to have Grand Plaza. I mean, Grand Plaza into Grizzled Ranger is a really good start. Um, get excited, can kill a Zoe. Maybe I keep the get excited. Kill a Zoe. One star's whoopsie is another spark. I wish there was like a game of you know like how there's like ranked normal. I wish there was one that was like non Targon. <laughs> Can we choose that? We could we could use that. Ooh, mobilize. Okay, we got some options. The time of machines is now. So I think my my plan's going to be next turn, mobilize, then Stony Suppressor and Grizzled Ranger. And of course, so you notice how like last turn I waited, this turn I waited. You always wait on mobilize because you always because see now now mobilize like if I would have cast mobilize before, then it wouldn't affect the, the Radiant Guardian. Since you get to save the three spell mana, you always wait on this until you're about to start playing stuff. So the Stony Suppressor is going to slow down their hex core upgrades. And also maybe they like you know maybe now with playing that they don't have the mana to deal with uh Grizzled Ranger. Okay, so super easy. You say normals, but you can pick 5 cards before the game and you won't get paired against anybody with those 5 cards. 
There we go. That was that was kind of cool. Of that was that actually looked pretty cool. With our turn four, mobilize and then stony suppressor to like slow them down a whole bunch, and then grizzled ranger still to you know get paired with the uh, grand plaza. That looked really good. That was that was pretty cool. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible this deck's better than the, than just like a better deck than the Twisted Fate version. Because Zoe's Zoe's a better card than Twisted Fate, just in in general. Just being, you know, like being the one drop. So I've, I talked about. I think there's like there's five champions that I think are like the top five champions to go along with, um, to go along with the Helios. And I think, you know, I think, like, Zoe, Twisted Fate, Lux are, like, the top three. And then, like, Diana, Heimer are probably the next two after that. A great part about, like, Zoe, um, Zoe with Aphelios is they're both Targon. And so you can, you can play any region you want along with them. Our opponent's playing PNZ. You know, like, all the regions are open. So you can play you can play whatever splash region you want. You're gonna mostly play all Targon cards anyway. Oh, they discarded Hexcore Foundry. Weird card to see. Go, Quinn, go. So I'm guessing they're grabbing the deal three damage card. At least they have to spend six mana total. Okay, no, they're going to stun... Done that. I guess it's not really technically six mana total because they get their two mana back. So their Veil Temple just cancels out my Stony Suppressor. Play the blinding assault first before the improv. I guess I, I guess we wait till next turn for blinding assault. Whoa! Whoa! We actually beat Aphelio Zoe. One, they didn't have Aphelios. Two, they quit really early, but we won. This this uh, Targon deck is going to be Heimerdinger and Aurelian Soul. So Quinn's a champion. I'll keep Quinn. Okay. So I want to keep on drawing some units. Maybe a nice Jinx or another Quinn. Take from the rich, give to me. Ooh. That hurts. Check out the goods on this one. Oh, what do Ouch. We get? <laughs> I 
I think they maybe just copied Immobilize and they're looking at it. Play Grizzled Ranger. <laughs> Do y'all think we'll play against a deck that's not Targon today? Or ever again? These people in normal block too much. <laughs> that's, that's not a good block. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Box of post doesn't need a nerf. It doesn't need a nerf. Aphelios needs to completely change. That card is not remotely fair. Like, that card needs to completely change. It's not... Changing Boxtopus doesn't help. That that doesn't... That's not the problem. Boxtopus is not the problem. Aphelios is the problem. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Alright, so we do have the back of Quinn, even if they use a couple of spells here to kill this Quinn. So I feel like they're going to have another Static Shock. I think that that's what they've been trying to set up is another Static Shock. What do you see, boy? You two are a welcome sight. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. Got your back! That is annoying, that stun card. I'm not going to be able to protect Quinn now, but we we had the backup Quinn, but we're not going to level up this one. No! Demacian needs heroes. You still don't count yourself, boss. I think we just play the Green Fang Warden in, in open attack these scouts. Ha! That'll do. Great. Good now thing we're playing in normals. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? No Targon? No Targon. So Stony Suppressor is our turn two blocker. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to keep these units. If we're going to have that, I don't really want to spend four mana on to get excited. I know that it, it helps um, you know, empty my hand for Jinx, and it can kill an Elise. Got your back. Maybe I should have kept it just to discard the Stony Suppressor, though. Keeping the peace. So 
so. Yeah, I'll probably just actually use this. Um, yeah, we'll play one Jinx. We'll have the other one be the Get Excited. Just discard a Stony Suppressor. <laughs> oh, man. We are going to suppress some stones. There's nothing to fear. Who's my favorite? It is you. Yes. Their deck's so fearsome. Down to ten. Smile, it's called gunplay. Why does everybody block so much? Unless they're gonna play like three more units and just go go wide like that. Okay, that makes sense. But still, why don't they? I guess because that's a spider, so they don't block with that thing. So it's a spider. Discard the Ranger's Resolve. I'm obviously going to kill this before it levels up. No, I... Get rid of that. Okay, so yeah, so that makes sense that they were... Their block makes sense that they're going to, you know, fill out their board anyway. Um, and I guess they didn't want to kill the spider, so that if I killed one other spider, they're at least still... You know, like they wanted the spider for the level up at least, so... Their block's defen defensible. They grab something they liked. So they're deciding whether to play that first or whether to attack. Alright, here comes the attack. What seems to be the problem? Stay still, I'm trying to shoot you. Oh. Keeps the Stony Suppressor alive. Nice, 0430, got a Vladimir today. Okay, so that was the card. So we know the other two are the two units they got from Stalking Shadows. And obviously we just gotta hope they're not like Doom Beast or something like that that does damage. Taking damage from these things anyway. Killed us yet. That's good. Alright, GG's. Alright, maybe too many stony suppressors that last game. I, I kept the one, we drew the other two. I, I shouldn't have kept the one. Uh, their you know their deck was all about fearsome and everything and one threes. 
Uh, not very good cards there, so I, should, I shouldn't have kept the Stony Suppressor. Um, I kept it as a two-mana blocker, but then we drew the Bright Steel for Protector for a two-mana blocker, and it just just looked like a bad keep overall. Uh, but yeah, we we ended up three and two, be, beating three Targon decks. I think we were kind of lucky there uh, in normal. I think our opponents kind of conceded pretty early and didn't put up the, the biggest fight. Um, so I think, you know, that, that definitely helped. But we did get to see some cool stuff, especially there was the one game where we played um, Plaza on turn three, then turn four with the attack token, played Mobilize, and then played uh, one mana Stony Suppressor, and uh, really shut down like their Victor. They had to spend two mana for a hex core upgrade. And then with three mana, which maybe they weren't expecting since you know I only had three mana left, played the Grizzled Ranger, and had that with the Grand Plaza, the four power uh, challenge that Victor. That was really cool. Um, so got to see some cool stuff with that. Mo I think one thing that I just kind of learned from these games, though, um, was just Mobilize looks good with Jinx. I think that was like kind of my biggest takeaway here was um, that that could be a good combination. You know, Jinx with Demacia, um, where you unload your hand pretty quickly. You can use you know use Mobilize with it. That looked that looked pretty decent. Um, it also looked good like at the game four we had it with uh, four mana Quinn. And then we had a, you know some two man a couple of uh, two mana green fang wardens and we were able to play play a whole bunch of stuff and go wide because of the mobilize and that was pretty nice also with going wide with the scouts so that was pretty cool too um, but there we go so that's our first meme tier deck today that's a Jinx Quinn those y'all watching later on YouTube hit that like button over there and of course leave those comments let me know what you think of the deck or just like the deck idea with you know, mobilize and jinx and, and things like that. You got other ideas, uh, let me know. And that's that's kind of what, what Meme Tier Monday is about. Like seeing some different cards that don't you don't usually see played and maybe just kind of finding some cool interactions that we can uh, uh, remember going forward and, and uh, maybe make some other decks with, uh, you know, moving forward. All right, but that's it here for Jinx Quinn. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.